Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of Have Less Live More. Yay! <laughs> we are super excited to share all of our travels with you and we are going to start out with our first trip which was an impromptu trip out west. Um, we had wanted to live this lifestyle of traveling full time for a while now and with her sister's wedding and the holidays, we had kind of decided that we were going to wait until the end of the year and start traveling in 2023. One day at work, I had the crazy idea that we could just go travel and go out west and see everything that we wanted to see out there and then come back for her sister's wedding and the holidays. And I pitched that idea to her. She agreed, and as they say, the rest is history. Um, so I put my two weeks in at my job uh, which gave us two weeks to plan and get everything we needed from GoPros and drones and laptops and camping supplies. Um, so that time went very quickly. So we set out with not much of a plan, but definitely wanted to know that we could cram as much in as possible. And as you can see um, from our pictures and the videos to come, I think we accomplished that. So our first day we got a little bit of a late start due to some packages being delayed. Um, but we did, well our goal was to get to Tonganoxie, Kansas. We plan to stay in as many free campsites as possible. So if you'd like to know more about that, come back Wednesday uh, where we will be covering how we utilize dispersed camping to save money on our trip. Uh, we were able to pull into the campsite before it got dark so we could make some supper. The next morning, we were up bright and early to continue on to Colorado. We took a slight detour down about nine miles of gravel roads to visit Monument Rock, also known as Chalk Pyramids. The 70-foot tall formation of Neobrera chalks stand out against the endless flat Kansas plains. You definitely don't feel like you're in Kansas anymore. After some great footage and photos, we were back on the road and headed to the next campsite. After a lot more windshield time, we got our first glimpse of the downside of free campsites out west. The roads can be a little rough. I chose this site for the very nice view of the lake, but apparently the reservoir had been drained. Here are the pictures of the before and after. We were a little disappointed, but we still got to photograph some horses and got the opportunity to spot some white tails for some good video. The next day, we finally reached our first planned destination in the White River National Forest. We stayed at Coffee Pot Road Dispersed Camping, and it really was one of my favorite spots. Driving up right along the Colorado River, I knew that this place would be special. We ended up getting a spot right on the banks of Deep Creek, and well, I'll just let the video speak for me. We 
We went on a drive up the mountain to get some amazing views of the valley and our campsites. However, the road was pretty rough, so after about four miles, we came back and ended our day with a nice fire. Our first hike was Hanging Lake. The trailhead begins at a rest area situated right off of Highway 70 eastbound. You do have to have a permit for this hike, so plan ahead and get there early to avoid the crowds. The hike itself is not a long hike at only 1.2 miles to the lake, but it continuously climbs 1,200 feet up from the canyon floor. The views were astonishing and it was a good start for our hikes out west. After reaching the lake and falls, we were excited for what was next. So a quick run back down the mountain, we were ready to describe what was next. With our hike finished and us ready to see Utah, we decided to pack up and hit the road. Before we left, we couldn't help but filming the first episode of Have Less Live More Cribs edition. Definitely one of my favorite videos from the trip and was a blast to film, so I hope you enjoy. What's up everyone? I'm Tyler and this is my crib. Follow me. First, we have our split living room and kitchen. Let's take a moment and talk about it. Moving on, over here. We have our shower. Got one setting. Whew, really cold. Over here. We have our master bedroom with our perfect view of the creek right here. Over here, we have the throne. It's mighty and majestic. Looks a lot bigger in the pictures. And over here, That was honestly some of the coldest water I have ever been in, and she wanted me to stay in, but I think my brain shut down as soon as I hit the water. Also, I'm not sure where any of those noises I made came from. And on that note, that's a wrap for our very first episode. I hope you enjoyed, and we are just getting started. We have definitely learned a lot since we first started about filming and editing videos, so bear with us as this process as we figure it out. Next week, we will dive in to the next leg of our trip in the wonderful state of Utah. We will be taking you guys to Zion, Bryce Canyon, Arches, and more. As always, thank you for your support, and don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all of our travels. If you don't already follow us on Facebook and Instagram, see the description below for links to our pages. And until next time, happy adventures. Woo!